Hi chess friends, welcome to this game of uh, Chess Olympiad in Chennai 2022. Here we have a wonderful protagonist uh, from India, Gukesh D. He is so young, he is a prodigy. And uh, in this tournament he had a performance of, of uh, 8 uh, w winning strikes and uh, consecutively without losing or, 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 uh, or a draw. And uh, he drew only in the game 9 with uh, Mamejarov and uh, his level is so high. So Gakesh D will be the protagonist uh, in, the, in the present and in the future of chess. So we all we have to see some game of Gakesh D and my idea is uh, to show you in this video some games, okay? Here uh, Gukesh plays with the white pieces and um, he is against uh, Daniele Vocaturio, a uh, uh, really strong Italian player, and with the black pieces. And Gukesh opened with d4. We have a knight f6 by Vocaturio and uh, c4. Uh, e6, knight uh, f3, and uh, d5. We have a knight c3 and uh, c5. C capture for d5. C capture for d4 and now queen uh, d4. Typical development of uh, of their pieces. Here normally you have to capture this uh, pawn with the knight because uh, if you capture the pawn with the queen, you allow for your opponent to develop a piece uh, using a time, gaining a time, knight, knight here to attack this queen. Okay, with it with the, with the time. But in this position, this pawn controls the the c6 square so can could capture the knight and uh, in this way you can easily capture with the queen the pawn okay but remember this we have e capture for d5 and now bishop uh, g5 gokeshi pins this knight because there is a queen and uh, and uh, develop uh, a piece bishop uh, e7 to prepare a castle and now e3 in this way gokesh prepared to develop his light square bishop and uh, castle by black and now rook uh, d1 the idea of rook d1 is to put pressure on this weak pawn on the d5 now this knight targets this pawn this queen attacks this pawn and the rook joins to the attack for this pawn triple triple pressure and um, um, vocaturo has to defend it so bishop e6 and now queen uh, a4. We have uh, h6 attacking the, the bishop and now bishop capture for f6, bishop capture for f6 and now we have knight capture for d5. I know what you are thinking, this pawn is well defended by two pieces, by, two pi by the bishop and by the queen, but here um, Gukesh decided to capture. Why is this? Because after knight capture for d5 and uh, bishop capture for d5, this rook pins this bishop because there is a queen. So here Gukish can play queen b5 to attack this light square bishop. Okay, and this bishop is lost because it's pinned. And here you can continue the game uh, in um, two different way, mainly. And uh, you could play something like bishop c6. A really nice idea because uh, I told you this bishop is pinned, but in this way, after bishop c6, the bishop attacks the white queen. So after rook capture for d for uh, d8, we have uh, bishop capture for b b5, rook capture for f8 check, king capture for f8, and bishop capture for b5. This position is completely equal now. Black can capture this pawn. Uh, and white could play something king e2 to bring the rook into the game and then on the d1 this knight will be developed really soon okay and uh, for example you can play something like h8 6 and after this move b5 uh, and after bishop here this knight can be easily developed and, and the rook can join into the game so the game continues completely equal in a in a draw uh, but here Vocaturo decided for another line and uh, he plays the, the move recommended by the engine and he plays bishop capture for d2 and here um, white has to decide which bishop has to capture this bishop 
for this bishop. Here, uh, Gukesh decided to play rook capture for d5, but what happens if you capture this? We can see uh, all together that here it's still a completely draw position because knight uh, c6 and it's not important if you try to continue to pin this uh, this bishop because this knight can come here and uh, well def uh, defend really well this uh, this light square bishop okay if you try something like this uh, there are some tactics uh, because uh, this bishop seems lost but not yet because after a6 queen a4 and now there is uh, always this move to to counterattack uh, the white queen okay and this is a, a draw position and um, this is a way only a way to continue this uh, this game however here gukesh plays rook capture for for uh, d5 and now this bishop is uh, is hanging so we have bishop um, c3 check and now king uh, d1 d1 i know this move seems really strange but i like this move you could play something like knight here to defend uh, to block check it's a normal move uh, you could think uh, i want to save my castle i want to be able to do the castle but this move is a mistake and i show you why because here follows queen f6 and after something like uh, bishop here uh, the position of black is uh, is uh, is still better because this knight is pinned uh, this rook of black will be activated really soon and it's not easy position here you have to castle but uh, knight here and uh, there is a double attack for this pawn and uh, it's not easy to to continue this game for white so um, uh, here uh, i think this is a, a really beautiful move because a normal player like us wouldn't play this move okay and uh, king e2 is not the same because if you play king e2 this bishop is closed okay so gukesh finds this solution king d1 and here the king is perfectly safe okay we have uh, queen uh, queen uh, e7 by Bocaturo, and now bishop uh, c4 in this way uh, gukesh develop his bishop and the idea will be in the future to bring the king on e2 and the rook uh, can come on d1 and double up on the d file and uh, to do some attack okay we have a knight um, a a6 with the idea to bring the knight here on uh, c7 and double attack uh, this uh, the queen and the, the rook so here we have uh, king uh, e2 and now rook uh, c8 if you are thinking something like knight here in this position it's not a bad move but uh, here white maybe is better because there is a move that save that is a rook d7 and now you have to capture this queen and uh, white will capture the black queen and this is a draw the game continue okay so you have to consider this that uh, knight uh, c7 is a not a bad move but not a winning move so here we have uh, rook uh, c8 and now queen uh, queen b3 with the idea uh, black uh, white avoids this knight uh, c7 and put pressure on this diagonal okay we have a uh, knight uh, b4 and uh, we have uh, rook uh, f5 I know that this bishop is hanging, you, you could capture this bishop, not, because uh, if you do something like this, you, you blunder completely, because th this rook is lost, because knight capture for d5, and now this bishop can capture, because follow rook capture for c3, and this is obviously completely losing for white, so be careful, and uh, here we have rook f5, the idea is uh, to triple attack for the f7 pole, for now is defended by the dark queen and the rook uh, by the rook but uh, this is a high pressure we have uh, bishop uh, f6 to disconnect this uh, the rook line attack of rook and now rook uh, b5 now gukesh is really aggressive he want to to attack on the b5 put pressure on this knight and put pressure on the b pawn and now it's really difficult position for black 
and uh, here Vocatura decide to play a5 seems a really strange move because the point is here that you don't have the possibility to capture this uh, to defend this knight the only way is or you move the knight but if you move the knight this rook here is so strong rook capture for b7 with an attack on this queen and uh, this is a bad position computer prefers white okay in this position so here vocaturo finds this way a5 to defend this knight and uh, now white can capture this pawn because it is defended by black queen and now we have rook capture for a5 and knight c6 now it's different because this rook is attack but is not is not more on a b file and they can't capture the pawn difference okay we have a rook b5 to put pressure on on this pawn and now sorry uh, we have uh, a a6 b b6 by by vocatura we have a bishop uh, d5 to attack this uh, this knight and now knight um, a7 vocatura decide to attack the white rook and uh, in this position uh, is is better gukesh and here gukesh simply play rook capture for b b6 and now we have this position where um, uh, gukesh has a one pawn up is one pawn up and a pawn really pass pawn so dangerous maybe in the future with something like a4 a5 and uh, they po uh, they pawn up so five pawns against uh, against three is not easy to deal okay because there is a deep pawn so solid that defends the king and this rook will be activated really soon on the d file or in maybe in the b file and um, the game is very easy for gush we have a rook uh, c3 attacking the white queen and the uh, queen b1 by um, queen b1 by gukesh we have a uh, queen uh, uh, c5 here uh, black is trying to do something like king uh, rook c to check but here we have simply rook d1 and in this way the white king will escape on f1 in the future so we have a rook uh, c to check but king f1 we have a rook uh, d8 to put pressure on this light square bishop but here we have knight uh, e, e1 really strong move in this way gukash attacks uh, the rook and uh, here black has no time to capture the, the bishop because if you capture the bishop it's uh, it's completely losing because uh, you have not uh, you you can capture this this rook because if you do you risk to lose because rook capture for the one and after queen capture for the one you you lose the other rook and this is winning for black for black but here you can simply play rook here check and now there is a problem to defend this um, if you come here this uh, this rook is pin uh, is not easy and if you try something like knight here you are so passive and here uh, black white can capture and this time is different because this rook is not more ranking okay this is completely winning so here we have um, rook uh, d8 like i said knight e1 and rook uh, c3 but here follows quick bishop capture for f7 check king f8 if you come here decide to come here follows this uh, easy combination rook capture for f6 check uh, create a lot of weakness for a black king and after this this rook can capture okay so because there is a problem this bishop defends the the rook and if you take this rook with this bishop with check you you will lose the rook so is not a solution to take this uh, this light square bishop okay we have uh, however king f8 and now bishop uh, g5 by gukesh and this bishop here he's so strong as the position of black king is not easy we have a knight c6 and now rook capture for d6 d8 bishop capture for d8 attacking attacking this uh, the this rook but queen uh, g6 check you can't capture obviously this rook because follow this this check mate in one the queen f7 or 
queen uh, e8 it's the same so here Vocaturo plays uh, queen c c4 check and now we have uh, king g1 we have uh, king uh, e, e7 Vocaturo tried to escape but nothing can do and uh, rook check and uh, in this position after bishop c7 and uh, rook capture for c7 uh, Vocaturo resigned because here is completely losing position uh, um, black here has to move the king but there is only one square and this is checkmate in a uh, lot of way you can play something like w really whatever you want the easier way to, to do checkmate is obviously queen uh, e8 and uh, I really like this game and I want to show you again this position because um, I think this move uh, is so beautiful because uh, um, you, you have to, to, to see really well the position to play a move like, like this, King D1. Who would play in this position a move like this after this check? A normal player would play something like this and I told you this is a bad move but king d1 and this king here on the one is incredible but is completely safe and uh, it's so beautiful that after bishop c4 the king can come on e2 like i show you and uh, other rook into the game uh, and king will go on f1 uh, and then on g1 like like uh, happens in this position so what a way to to continue the game and uh, I'm so happy to see this uh, this game. This is why chess is not um, never boring. And uh, uh, I hope this video enjoy you like always. Thank you really much for watching my video. Remember, you can comment every time. So I will answer you. And you are always welcome to my channel. Remember to subscribe. I will be really happy. And uh, see you soon with another video. Thank you and bye-bye. Uh,